Hello everyone, welcome to our sign graphics. On another exciting tutorial, and this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make this professional simple mock-up design with your Pixel Lab. So without further ado, we're going to head up to our Pixel Lab. But don't forget to subscribe to my channel at Sign Graphics for more exciting tutorial like this. So quickly you open your Pixel Lab. This time around the new test, you are not going to delete it again. You edit it. So you you, you type your name, the name of your brand or the name of whatever uh, design you want to make whatever mock-up design you want to make so for the purpose of the tutorial I'm going to use my I'm going to use the name assign graphics so the first first write up will be assigned then we head on to a uh, background called any bridge and you choose this orange color you're going to see the color code there it's at the top of the screen there as the color code you'll be using can use another color code but for the purpose of the tutorial if you want to get exactly the same thing that I did on the video you can use the same color coding so after that you adjust your left pad paddling and your right paddling you use the number that you see fits your own design but for my design the left paddling will be 3 I the right paddling will be 3 so that is how I did that from there you Next thing you're going to head up, you go to rotate. I mean, before you go to rotate, you go to spacing. You, uh, you space your work to at, at least three. Then from there, you go to rotate. You turn your rotate to minus 90 degree. So your rotate should be on minus 90 degree. There. Yeah, sorry about that. That is my recording. But there. Uh, so then you reduce the size of the text. You you reduce the size of the text you you edited and you go to a new text again and this new text you can use might be the name of your brand or whatever name you want to type there like i said for the purpose of the tutorial i'm going to be using assign graphics so i will type graphics there the graphics is going to be that name i will change my the color of my text to you can use any other you can use the color you want but for the purpose of the tutorial for the purpose of the design and the background i'm going to use a black color then the font I'll be using is Germanic Bold to be in the video description. The name of the font will be in the video description in case you want to get it. Like I say, I have other videos where you can get a font and other stuff from. So you use the size. Also, you, you use your movement button so that you can manually move it a little bit. You just arrange them the way it's supposed to be the way you see me doing it on the screen don't forget to subscribe to the channel and sign graphic for more exciting tutorial like this and in this place now you're going to turn on your ruler you turn on your ruler because you the the other text there assigned that is turn on 90 degree and the graphics you want them to be on the same line so you see the way i turn on my ruler and make and make adjustment to the ruler so that is that for that if you get that is will be if it will be helpful to you also the next word you bring in a new text you type uh, services so like i always say if you have any graphic design service you can also assign it to me that is the name of my brand assign graphics services so don't mind me I'm just doing it for you the tour you can type any other word but that is the name of my brand assign graphics so you go to a left paddle, right paddle, you, you adjust it the way you see me doing it on the screen. You make your text bold. The font I use will be in the video description, so don't forget to check the video description for the font. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel at Design Graphics for a site tutorial like this. Video will be coming up on my channel how to get download mock-up background and how to clean them up. So you you make sure you subscribe, you hit the notification button so that you don't miss the notification when the video is available. So, you reduce the size of the text a little then you adjust it the way you see me doing it on the screen but before you do that like i said you on your ruler adjust your ruler the way you see me doing it on the screen then you move the text that's the, the last text there services then you, add, you adjust it the way you see me doing it on the screen use your movement button and uh, resize a, key, a button to do that so that is that about that so you immediately you go you head on to your layer you merge all the layer together and this is where we'll go to the background we'll go to our gallery to in to bring in the background the background will be the background link will be available in the video description and 
I hope you also a link for or a link for a video on how to download Moko Baron also will be available in the video description. So you watch the video till the end so that you'll be able to get these videos and their link there. So the next thing you're gonna do you you will adjust it a little then you head up to perspective. You enable perspective then you adjust it with your finger. Like I use least if you have a stylus pen it will be very easy for you. So you don't, if you don't have a stylus pen, you can use a zoom button there to make your adjustment on the perspective. Right, is that about that? Then you, the next thing you go to movement button, you manually move them one after the other. You can follow Assign Graphics on Facebook and Instagram as Assign Graphics. You can check our Twitter handle at Assign Graphics. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel now that we have gotten our mock up design. That is how you save your work. More video will be coming up on my channel. You can see all my other videos there at the top of the screen there. Please follow me on Instagram and Facebook at Design Graphic. More exciting tutorial. Thank you for watching my video.